Good day, everyone. Welcome back to another tarot card video with General Goods Tarot. Today's topic, we are doing their thoughts, feelings, and next actions to do, okay? So we have four cards here. We have the first pile, which is, hold on, the first pile. <laughs> the first pile is the Nine of Cups. The second pile is the Two of Cups. Third pile is the Fool. And then the last pile is the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Now this is a general reading. Um, many types of energies are gonna be clicking piles. So remember when you click the pile that you're picking that other people have picked your pile and not everything that I say will resonate with everyone. So take what does and leave what doesn't, okay? So feel free to pause the video Drop down into the description and pick the pile that resonates with you the most when you think of the person on your mind, okay? We're just gonna get started immediately. Um, not to rush you, pause, pause, pause. We're gonna get started now. Um, so we have the Nine of Cups pile. Nine of Cups pile, welcome on in. You chose the Nine of Cups. Remember, this is an amazing card, but that doesn't mean your reading is going to be great, okay? I do want to just say that I, I, I always think like, oh, if you see a card that you like, that doesn't mean your reading is going to be incredible, but we will pull the cards um, that Spirit gives us for you today, okay? So Spirit, Spirit, by the way, if you want to like the video, like the video if you will like to, and if you would like to subscribe, feel free to join in. I do streams nearly every week, and I make videos occasionally. Um, and if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so by dropping down into the description, clicking Calendly, picking a time and a date where you would like to book a private reading with me. Questions are only $10 each. We could do it over Discord or YouTube. I'll get back to you via email. Spirit, what are the thoughts of the Nine of Cups pile for, for the Nine of Cups pile? What are this person's thoughts for, for the Nine of Cups pile? Can you tap into their energy, please? What are their thoughts? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, why the five of wands here? The hangman, why? Okay. So this is already a very intense pile, okay? Um, their thoughts is almost like there's a sense of confusion, frustration, uncertainty when it comes to you as a person. Um, their thoughts about you. This is just what they're thinking. Um, we have here the Five of Wands with the Ace of Cups here. This person's just not, there's just something about the connection with the Ace of Cups here that they are kind of not sure about, actually. And then we have here the Magician and the Tower here. It's like they, they kind of expect things not to work out. Like, because they're is some sort of uncertainty or confusion about the both of you. They think that it's going to head towards the some sort of, uh, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> why am I like instigating a tower moment? Um, like you guys might break up or depart or disconnect. Um, and, and to clarify that, we got the five of wands. And when I asked for more details about that, guys, we have here the hangman. Um, that is like letting something go, uh, feeling like something's just gonna, just gonna, you know, not be a, a matter of concern anymore. We also have here the judgment and lastly, the 10 of swords. So this person kind of feels like things are heading towards a disconnect, a break, um, of sorts. Okay. This is now, this is just their thoughts. They're like, there's just something about what's going on between the both of you that makes them feel feel like um, something's going to uh, just end or, or something's going to break down between the both of you. Is this what you're saying, Spirit, for, for Pile Nine of Cups? The Hierophant. Okay, the Queen of Coins and one more. And the High Priestess. So 
so yeah and, and I got this vibe like this is just this person's thoughts you know how like you worry about something and you you have a doom and gloom mentality um uh, and this is, might stem from like insecurities now that this person could have genuine um reasons and concerns for why they feel like there's going to be a disconnect between the both of you like a tower moment uh, an ending here um like oh they there's been too much arguments or there's just been there's a j valid reason so i would say for this person it's just it's what's on their mind it's what's on their mind okay with the higher font the queen of pentacles and the high priestess here they may have not told you this for some of you they may have not said um they may have not talked to you about this concern of theirs. Now their feelings. We're going to pull feelings or we get a different deck. You get the spooky deck. <laughs> I don't ever use this deck enough. It's, it's, my, it's my newest one. Gifted to me very graciously. It's spooky, which is why I don't use it, but I like it. I like spooky. Um, Spirit, what are the feelings of the Nine of Cups person for the Nine of Cups group? What are the person that's on the Nine of Cups group's mind? What are their feelings for them? What? Okay. What are their feelings? Eight of Swords. Look at that. There's like so much confirmation. Like they're, they want to, their feelings is like, I got to hold myself back. Um, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords is very much um, keeping to oneself, uh, even like due to like their own self-limiting beliefs. Like I feel like I have to really keep to myself um, in this connection here. I have to keep to myself in this connection here. I keep my energy to myself. Any more cards? Queen of Pentacles again. Queen of Cups. Okay, can we get more cards? Six of Cups and the High Priestess. But they, but they would like, but they feel like, what is this High Priestess here? But they would like to reach, they would, they, oh my God, I'm like, some of you, they want to reach out to you. Is it, so Page of Cups here. Um, so for some of you, by the way, Nine of Pentacles is the energy of uh, this reading here that we're doing with the feelings. Some of you might feel like you gravitate to the Nine to Pe the Nine of Pentacles crew. So if you do, feel free to click that. But Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Six of Cups feels like if they feel like if they talk to you about what's on their mind, what they're concerned about, then you guys would be able to have a new start again or something like that, like a like the, uh, some sort of burden will be unloaded from you and you guys can go back to having fun again. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of, oh, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, followed by the Six of Cups, the High Priestess, and lastly, the Fool here. Good energy um, about their feelings is even if they're, they're like, I gotta keep to myself. Um, I have these, these thoughts, like I just feel like if we communicate or if we, if we, t if we, there's just too many complications here and I expect things to just be over or have ended or are going to get to that. But if I feel like if I tell you what's on my mind, then I, th I believe I, if I, if I tell you what's on my mind and you tell me what's on your mind, I believe we can both have a new start together. Um, that is like their feelings. Um, and when I asked about that six of cups, we did get the page of cups. You might be surprised by what they expressed to you. Um, so there might be a lot under the surface that they haven't told you. Maybe even vice versa as well. Okay. Like I'm almost getting like if you've had an argument with this person and you're like, I'm not sure what happened. Like how did this happen? You might talk to them and then find out information like, oh my God, I didn't even expect all this to be happening. Okay. I didn't expect all this. And then you guys can have a new start together or something like that. So what is this person's next actions towards... The Nine of Cups group. What are their, their next likely action spirit? Like, I just want to talk to you. So I'm just like, I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you. Okay. 
strong, strong manifestation energy. Page of Cups. Okay, why the Five of Wands here? Five of Wands came out again for you guys. Eight. Oh my God. Eight of Swords came out again. For, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then one more. Okay. Okay. Hold on. So where is the one? Here next, and this is going to happen soon, is healing. Healing, rest from the situation. Okay, we have here for you the Knight of Swords, followed by the Four of Swords. It's like the next likely thing to happen between the both of you is hopefully the situation. This, I guess there might be turbulence here. If this is not what's happening, this is what this person feels inside their heart. Um, like they got to just, they got to put their mind at ease somehow with the four of swords or put this situation at ease for some of you. Magician is out here for you, followed by the Hierophant and the page of cups here. I do think there's something unexpected coming from them. Twice you got the page of cups. You got them doing some sort of unexpected action to bring some kind of peace of mind in this connection. Uh, the Five of Wands, followed by the Eight of Swords again. You got both of these cards coming out. This person's very insecure about like something going on in here is like is like keeping them trapped a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, and then we have here the King of Swords with the Chariot, the Queen of Cups, Judgment, and then lastly the Six of Pentacles. So I believe what this person has going on in their head, they're going to want to express it to you, okay? And and hopefully you will want to interact with them and maybe start having an exchange with them again um, with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe a give and a take once more, okay? So this person does want uh, whatever is going on between you all to, to come to an ease to tell you what's exactly on their mind. I expect them to do something surprising or say something surprising to you. Um, and they're hoping this will lead you to kind of softening your heart with the Queen of Cups there, opening up and having an exchange with them in some way, shape or form. Now, if you are like, oh my God, this, <laughs> why, why is this person going through so much inner turmoil about me? Like what, what is it that they have to say? It's like they only have to say something to you. They're, they're, there's something keeping them mentally trapped. For some of you, you guys have gotten into some sort of argument and they're like, oh my God, I feel like if we talk, it's going to just be the end or I really have to say what's on my mind um, to bring peace to this connection. Okay, so... Um, overall, pile, page, uh, nine of cups, page of cups, I want to say that so badly. Uh, I'm, I'm, I just want to say, this is the page of cups pile. You have something unexpected coming from this person, either through actions or something they're going to communicate to you, okay? It's, it's like, you just, this is the last thing, I don't, I don't want to say it's the last thing you would have expected. You just really didn't expect them to say or do this thing, Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. If you want to like the video, feel free to do so. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so as well. Um, I do videos nearly every month, almost every month, and I stream every week basically. So I also do private readings. If you want to book a private reading with me, questions are only $10 each. You can do so by clicking the description, going into Calendly, picking a time and a date where you would like to uh, schedule a, a private reading with me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible via email. We could do it on Discord or YouTube, okay? So see you guys in the next piles to come. Maybe some of you are going to go over to the Nine of Pentacles pile, but we're going to get to pile two of cups, okay, guys? So see you. Have a good one. See you in the next videos or in future streams to come. I got to breathe. Oh, my gosh. Doing videos is very hard for me. I could stream in front of people, but I, I, it's like, I get so nervous. It's just me. It's like, I get so nervous around my own energy. <sighs> A two of cups pile. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a quick uh, jump cut. Hello guys. I'm back. I just went to the bathroom. Two of Cups pile, welcome back. We are on the Two of Cups pile. Just give me a moment, guys. If you chose the Two of Cups, we are now going to be starting you, okay? So let's get started. Um, two of Cups, is, we're going to tag the, into the person that's on your mind. If you want to like, like, guys. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. 
And, and if you want to book a private reading with me, um, you can drop down into the description and click Calendly. I'll pick a time and a date where you would like to schedule an appointment with me and I'll get back to you via email, okay? Spirit, what is the thoughts of the Two of Cups pile for the, the person on their mind? What is what is the thoughts of the person on the Two of Cups pile's mind for them? Ace of Pentacles! Justice! <laughs> I feel so happy. I feel really happy, actually. This person's energy is like, I enjoy you. I enjoy you. I enjoy you. Um, okay, so what are what are they what are they doing here? What's that about? <laughs> what are we doing here? <coughs> okay, so they kind of want to say something that they've been hiding. Is that what what's happening there? Yeah. So, um, oh my god, five of pentacles as the energy. Um, so your person has something on their mind that they really want to reveal to you. They're, they're hiding something. Their thought is, I want to tell you something I haven't, I've been keeping a secret, okay? We have for the Ace of Pentacles, Justice, and the Three of Cups here, followed by the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords with that Six of Pentacles here. This person enjoys your company. They see you as someone that they can confide in in some way, shape, or form, um, the three of cups here, I can, I can see like this person would enjoy like going to the bar with you or um, like having, like some of you have a drink with this person, you, you, <laughs> I want to say you kiki, uh, you, you gossip, you just talk about things, you could do this with this person if you haven't already, they, they feel like, oh my god, this is, uh, like there's, there's a chance for some kind of new, new, strong foundation to grow here for myself and for this person but in order for that to happen I feel like I have to tell them something I have to tell I have to reveal something on that I have been hiding from you uh seven of swords and um the six of pentacles with that two of pentacles it just feels like they their secret is what they feel like is going to bring in balance um for themselves in this connection okay they really want to tell you something uh, Knight of Cups with the Page of Swords. Uh, this person has something to tell you. With the Six of Cups, yeah. Oh my God. So the, if you guys aren't in contact with this person, Six of Cups could be reunions. They, someone might want to come back to tell you something they should have told you a long time ago. Or if you are in a connection with this person, they want to reveal to you some kind of secret because they kind of feel like you're someone they can confide in. Okay, and, and they're like, oh, I have to tell, I have to tell you, I have to tell Pile of Two of Cups. I have to tell you this thing. It's important. It's massively important. And then I get some feelings. We're going to use the spooky deck. Don't get spooked. Okay, don't get spooked. What are the feelings of the person on the Two of Cups group's mind? What are their feelings? Justice again, guys. Justice again. Four of Wands, Four of Cups. Oh my gosh. The Magician. What are their feelings? Oh my goodness. Like, some of you, for some of you, a lot of major arcanas, guys. You've got like five major arcanas coming out here. This person feels like you are like their karmic wish. <laughs> You're like their karmic wish. Um, justice with the... Uh, four of Wands followed by the Four of Cups here. It's like, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting like a small story. One of you, this person didn't see your value um, originally with the Four of Cups here. For some of you, like, like a very small amount of you, this person didn't originally see how much you had contributed to their like personal peace and well-being. Like, they should have know, known this a long time ago. And it's just, like, that really eats them up. Like, I, sh you do so, you're such, you were such a blessing for me. You did so much for me mentally. That's for some of you, okay? Uh, but with the magician here, the sun, oh, the sun, oh, my God, strength. And lastly, we have here the hierophant here. You've given this person a lot of strength. 
Uh, and that really goes back into that they, they can confide in you. They feel so present with you. And I, and I was like, when I tapped into this group, I felt such a positive energy that, um, like you really make them feel like anything is possible. Okay. Like they, they feel really in con with the hierophant there, they feel more in connection with themselves. And, and for some of you, the universe, because of this connection here, uh, because of their relationship with you. That's really beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, so yeah, you've been a really good influence on them. They really feel so, uh, so incredibly thankful and grateful that they have they've have had you in their life, and they get to have you in, in in their life. Some of you, this person might actually not be in contact with you anymore, and they were they have this gratitude for the influence that you've had on them, um, and and then they kind of want to tell you something. They want to tell you something that they should have they that they hid from you, okay? And that and they there's there's a secret for all of you. There's a secret that this person wants to say to you for all of you okay so we're going to get into the next actions what are the this person's next action towards the two of cups pile there we go <laughs> I, 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 every time i do these videos i'm like this we get confirmations about things i'm sorry we get so much confirmation okay oh. okay what and then i am one Okay, where are we at here, Spirit? Why is this energy over here? Why is that? Okay. Okay. Oh. So it's just like wanting to say that this has brought them to here. So, oh my God, <laughs> their next action is, is communicating to you um, how much you've how much you've done for them. Okay, we have here the Page of Wands and the the Four of Wands here, the Page of Swords and the Four of Wands here. This might be on their mind right now when, as I'm saying the Page of Wands, but um, like they're not ready to do it yet. It's, a, it's an idea, but they 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 are like preparing for it. We have here the king of coins and the king of swords here. Um, this person might put up one way of presenting themselves to you and, and kind of not really revealing this other aspect of this of themselves, which is like this these fears and, and these regrets and looking at the past and thoughts spiraling. And, and they have so much, tr I want to say for some of you, trauma that they've been through and, 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 and so much like horror stories that they experienced and you have like really brought in quite a bit of harmony in their life okay they want to tell you that how much you've helped them move forward and and progress we have here the chariot and the emperor with the three of cups your connection being able to talk to you this feels so strongly like no matter what this person's position is in your life they see you as a as a powerful ally okay platonically romantically uh, however the configuration is between the both of you with the two of cups here they see you as a powerful ally and they can't be more thankful and grateful for your influence on their mental health okay six of swords here you may not know just how much this person was going through and just how much your influence has impacted them, okay? Um, oh my gosh! So, so like, some I I got this vibe like one of you are like I barely know this person. I just say hi. We kind of do a little small, small, small talk and chit chat. Like you'd be surprised because this might be someone at work that you just like talk to. Like, hey, what you doing? You got a nice you got a nice tie, and the and you brighten their day. Okay, you have no idea how much you're brightening this person's day, and they want to tell you that this person wants to tell you this okay and they've got it they do have a secret to to express to you so that's what i have for you two of cups pile uh thank you so much for tuning in i wish you and your person all the best um if you want to like please feel free to feel, feel free to do so if you want to subscribe 
that's that's your prerogative i would love to see you again um and if you would like to book a private reading with me you can do so at calendy you can drop down into the description click cal calendy oh, it's always hard to say it um and pick a time and a date where you would like to have a private reading with me i will get back to you in email questions are only ten dollars each we can do it via discord or youtube okay so i'll see you guys in the next video to go we are going to get to the full pile um, I'm gonna get a sip of coffee and then we'll get started on the full, okay? Um, yes, so pile the full, the full group. <sighs> Let's tap into your person's energy that is on your mind, full group. Disconnecting from all previous readings. Please and thank you. Spirit, what, okay, what are the thoughts of the person on the full group's mind for the full group? What are your thoughts? What are they thinking about, Spirit? Can I tell you, quite honestly, I really feel like I want to disconnect as soon as possible. Like, I just want to get on out of here. <laughs> I just want to get on out of here. We have the Nine of Swords and a Knight of Swords here. Um... Like, they're not feeling good, but they are trying to be emotionally mature about it. So, oh my god, two of cups as the energy here. Um, so, for you guys, they don't feel good. Their, their, their feelings right now, their thoughts, it's kind of a little bit of their feelings. Um, they don't feel good right now. But, um, even with that said, some of them, your, your group is sad. Uh, their thoughts about you. We're going to pull details. Why are they feeling sad? Why are they feeling sad here when they think about the death? Oh my god, death. The page is gone. The Knight of Pentacles. Why death? What? Okay. Is it like... Is it like I gotta go to work? And I'm sad. No, is this like um, something has ended here and they feel sad about it? Okay. So for you guys, um, something might have ended here. Uh, Spirit is, is telling me, so if this is not the case for you guys, this might not be your pile, but something here is over or something here has happened okay with the nine of swords the the knight of swords and the king of cups and this person has to put on a brave face they think like oh i have to because this happened i have to put on a very very brave face now and be emotionally mature and, and just like just like um smile in the face of adversity smile even if i'm i'm not feeling okay on the inside like the king of cups is like i have i'm a master of my emotions the hermit here is I'm really ruminating in my emotions because so you might not know that behind closed door this person's really in their mind about you okay and and, and it's they're pretty bummed out okay for, I don't know what could have happened here let's get into feelings is we did tap into feelings a little bit to be honest with you what are the feelings of this person in the, in the full pile that's on the the full pile's mind. What are, what are their feelings about the, the Two of Cups? Oh my God, you got the Two of Cups twice. Uh, it was the energy in the, in, the, in the thoughts, and now we have it coming out here. What are their feelings? Okay. The Hierophant again. Uh, well, the Hermit. We got the Hierophant coming out here. Uh, Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. Like they want to work on, they want to work something out with you. They feel like even though they want to reach out to you and, and have a talk, they kind of, they're not brave enough to do so. They don't have the confidence to do so with that Eight of Swords here. And they kind of want you to approach them with the, <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. They, they want you to approach them uh, to talk about working on a new beginning. Like, so this person, <laughs> this person 
is like in their feelings, but they're trying to be like a like stoic, brave faced, um, mature. And they want you to t they want you to approach them because they they don't have the energy to do so the or the bandwidth, the the confidence. They're just like, oh my god, you're I don't know, like. If I if there was a guarantee that you respond um, positively, I would absolutely do it. But I can't do it. I just can't do it. Um, but I hope that you approach me uh, to 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 want to do something with me. Okay. So this might be like a friend who's like not getting back to you, and maybe they have like social anxiety. Um, and they just want you to come and approach them. This could be someone you're in no contact with or so or someone you are, are in contact with and you're like, when is this person going to get back to me or respond to me? Or when are we going to hang out? And they might be like, why don't you just tell me and ask me? You have to be the one to do it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um, what are this person's next actions for the, the full pile? What are their next actions towards, towards the full pile? Please, Spirit. Just thinking about you, thinking about you, and <laughs> not doing anything. I'm sorry, guys. The two of cups came out again. Oh my god. Oh, and just daydreaming about you. That's all they're gonna do. I'm sorry, the full pile. They're they're not gonna do nothing. They're just gonna think about you. You got double hermit out here. Uh, the empress, the hermit here, followed by. Temperance in the Four of Pentacles, just like thinking about you, stalling, being patient, um, waiting, holding back, uh, just just really, just, just they're, like their energy is not in movement. There's no movement here. We have here the Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups with the Lovers and the King of Pentacles. Like their focus is just going to be on, let me do my thing that's already established, like if they have a job. That is my focus. Um, and maybe potentially thinking about all the things that could happen in this dynamic. This could be romantic, platonic. This could be your friend. Uh, this could be a family member or your lover or potential love interest. But this person's not making any moves for the time being, okay? Um, they're just going to be thinking about you. I'm sorry. You got, you got double hermit. I don't, I, they're not ready to come out of this just yet. Try not to force it. Um, they do want you to be the one to approach them, but um, I, will, I actually feel called to pull advice for you, Spirit. Any advice for the, for this pile, for the full pile? Towards like what could what could they do? Ace of Wands, <laughs> the Tower. What could this person do? Okay. Um. Uh, so they the, they're gonna have to wait till this person breaks out of this, correct? Yeah, so, on, like, Spirit's advice, so you don't have to take this advice, uh, the full pile. Their advice is wait for this person to break out of their hermit mode and to be brave enough to approach you, okay? Because they, they clearly do want to interact with you in some sort of specific way, but they're really holding themselves back. Um, we have here the Ace of Wands with the Tower, followed by the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Like, this person has to be brave uh, spirit wants them to invest in becoming braver with how they want to interact with you and with others in general five of wands here ace of swords with the emperor and lastly the seven of pentacles they would rather you do nothing um and just wait for this person because they they have to be the one to approach you okay like this is this is like a part of their like self-strengthening journey or something like that um, ideally, you wait for them to gather the courage to approach you, okay, and, and want to hang out with you or talk to you. It, it's like they'd rather just think about you rather than say anything. There's something about them like maybe having social anxiety or, um, uh, oh my god, I heard commitment phobe for some of you and, um, allergic to interacting. So that's what I have for you, uh, the, the full pile. I, I'm sorry that your person is kind of like in a rest period. They're, they're really thinking um, hard about life. And 
just be patient with them. If you really care about them, you'll just let them approach you when they're ready. Um, or you could just be like, hey, yeah, it's time to get out of the cave. Okay, we're going out. We're going to hang out. <laughs> we're going to go and hang out. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, just follow your heart and your, intu and your intuition, okay? So with that said, that is all I have for you, Pile the Fool. I wish you a beautiful day. If you would like to like the video, feel free to do so. If you would like to subscribe, feel free to do so as well. Um, I, I make videos pretty regularly, streaming on the regular, and I make videos like every once a month or so. And if you would like to book a private reading, you can do so by clicking Calendly. I'll get back to you via email when you schedule a time and a date to chat with me. We could do it via Discord or YouTube, okay? So we're going to move on to the next pile. I'll be right back. We're going to do a quick, quick bathroom break, and I will be right back, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm back from that quick, quick bathroom break. Nine of Pentacles pile. If you click the Nine of Pentacles, this is for you. Um, we're going to tap into the person on your mind. If you want to like the video, feel free to do so. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so by clicking Calendly in the description, picking a time and date where you want to schedule that private reading with me, and I'll get back to you via email as soon as possible. The thoughts on your person's mind, the Four of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Lovers, the Page of Cups, some of you is from <laughs> some of you is from a previous pile, but that's okay. Um, oh, interesting. Is this is this what they want with the Nine of Pentacles pile spirit? Just give me a moment, guys. Do they want this? Someone wants to like come. Is this is this the person that? Is this the person? Is this the Nine of Pentacles pile person? Yes. Your person kind of wants to come out of like some kind of coldness. Like the, not, not really coldness, but there's something about them wanting to set aside their ego to come towards you in some sort of loving way. Okay. Um, platonic or romantic. Uh, take it as it feels like it resonates with you. Four of Swords with the Queen of Swords here. Followed by the Lovers and the Page of Cups. It's like they feel like... Unexpectedly, they... Like they want... They don't want... They no longer want to pretend... Or hold back... Uh, the... This... This feeling of, of just wanting to love on you in some way, shape, or form. Like, give you your flowers. Like, they want to love you, you know? They want to love you. Like, their thoughts is like, I, I really want to set aside, like, how I'm, or I'm acting. I want to I show you my appreciation more. Pull the Emperor with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups there. Uh, for okay, so this is really this is really cute. This person wants to just totally switch up their behavior with you. This is what they're thinking. Like I really want to switch up my behavior, um, and approach you differently. Approach our interactions with each other differently. Treat you differently. I want to show you um, how much I care for you. I and yeah, I'm like give you your flowers and look at this little boy. This, this per, the little kid is giving this young other kid flowers. So hold on. Can we just zoom in on it? Thank you. <laughs> so they, they want to give you uh, some sort of form of affection that they hadn't done so before. Or had previously felt like they like they shouldn't or couldn't. They, they just want to change up how they interact with you. Be more loving. Could be a, a boss wanting to show you more appreciation. Could be a family member wanting to love on you more, wanting to, to hang out with you more. It could even be a love interest wanting to express emotions more with you, okay? um, So we're going to get feelings. What are their feelings for the Nine of Pentacles pile? I never realized how much I loved you. One, two, three is on the on the clock right now. That's for some of you, okay? I didn't realize how much I cared for you. 
I didn't realize it. What is this person's feelings for the, the Nine of Pentacles pile? They feel like you really, you really, like when things go down, like, oh my goodness, they are so like, oh my God, I, whenever I'm trying to think of, of, of different things that I need to do or should do, like I, I have so many things I want to do, um, or so many things I need to do. And then I just, I just look at them and I don't, and, and in the face of adversity, I don't, I don't it's hard for me to pick one of the the actions and choices to work with and then with you you're like <laughs> you just go and do it <laughs> you just go and do it it kind of scares them that you do that by the way <laughs> some of you you're like uh, the queen of wands the horror and the seven of, of, of wands here it's like you just go and do things this person is like i really gotta be pragmatic um it scares them how you just go with the flow while they consciously think about their options what choices they gotta make and then they work with that choice and then go forward and then you you're like i'm gonna go balls to the wall you know what i mean i'm gonna just, just go and do it it scares them and this could be vice versa energy okay so take it as it resonates this could be like you being the planner coming up with a plan finding out what you need for it and then doing it and then your person here that's on your mind is like i'm gonna just go and do it and someone's horrified by somebody's actions here is definitely the more go with the flow person but there's like this like there's there's this feeling of um hold on can we get more cards eight of wands what is this feeling like why are they bringing this up here spirit why do they feel like it, they have to bring this up mm -hmm. yeah i and i i really feel this okay can we get some more cards here oh, well a few more because this is a good thing Okay, two more. Okay, so hold on. So for you guys, and I'm just gonna just just let you know, I really feel like they some some somehow this is a good thing. Um, this this come I don't I don't want to say it's combative. This dueling energy that it's either they are the go the, go with the flow person and you're the planner, or they're the planner and you're the go the go with the flow person. And even though they're terrified by your go with the flow, someone's terrified of this going with the flow mentality. Okay, on whose side? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but this person sees it as a good thing. Um, like this devil energy. We got the devil and the seven of pentacles here. Actually is, is a <laughs> kind of helps somebody here take away some of the overthinking um and just make decisions and just see what happens just go with it and just see what happens type of energy it's like there is a balancing and an influence a positive influence that comes through with the level of chaos that someone is giving through so they so if they are the go with the flow person they feel like they're like you bring in um, some kind of balance with their energy. Overall, this feels like a balancing and um, being able to make decisions um, a lot more carefree, but 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 much more um, much more thoughtfully. Okay, it's so you both. They feel like you really, or they feel like they like they need you, or they they appreciate that. Okay. Um, and then we're going to get into their next actions towards you. So what are their, what is this person's, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really in this energy of like really thinking. Uh, and I feel like something has to be said, like, um, 
you made me so there's two people there's two groups i'm talking to here like thank you for the group that if you're the nine of pentacles person that is a go with the flow energy and it could be a little bit chaotic and you don't always plan things out very well uh your person whom may be the planner and prefers to work on things in steps and um and likes to be resourceful and do things ahead of time and do things methodically they they're like um you help me not overthink my plans and so instead of it taking this long to 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 decide on doing something it actually take me less time to do it and now i'm just getting things done really quickly um, and just seeing what happens and now if you are the planner and this is the chaos <laughs> the chaos is like your your responsible planning helps me helps ground me in in even though I'm still going to go with the flow, I'm going I'm actually going to be planning in advance but still go with go with the flow like okay, so they're being a, they're going to they're more thoughtful because of you. Um they don't just do something, they they observe it and then do it, you know? So there's just something about you really being an influence on this person's mind and they love that. So what are this person's next actions towards the 9 of pentacles group spirit? The chariot the chariot so there's this person's gonna do something <laughs> okay <laughs> this is a good this is a good reading i like this that was a good reading the fool and the empress you had the emperor earlier with the seven of swords hmm. why the seven of swords here can we get oh my god why are we got the seven of swords here next actions towards uh the Knight of Wands, King of Cups, the Sun, and the Strength. So this is a good thing for the pile, correct? Like this is a good interaction. Yes. Is that a yes, Spirit? I I heard a card beep. I think they're heading towards having some kind of conversation with you. Okay, we have here the Chariot, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups here. The Knight of Cups is a very like little, uh, softly spoken conversation partner. And it is like something, a letter to be addressed to you. The Page of Swords similar, but this is like a male man of sorts, a male man of love, platonically or romantically. This person is on their way to discussing something with you, okay? And this is gonna be a great thing for you both, justice and the full. Like there's something, something fun, new adventures is gonna be coming about as a result of what they're gonna tell you. Empress and the Seven of Swords here, though, I, I think they're gonna tell you something that they've been holding back. Okay, they've been holding back something. Knight of Wands with the King of Cups and the Sun, followed by the Strength here. But they, this is the sun is always going to be a positive message, but it's like the seven of swords is like, I. Some of you, this person's going to hold back a pretty important secret. Not for it's not a bad secret. It's a good secret. So you won't know this maybe until the right time. Um, I can't tell you what this is. Is this what you're sp saying, Spirit? That this person wants to is gonna is planning for something, is gonna hide something, but the but the pile this pile would love it. Six of Pentacles. Yes. It is, is it yes? First of all, it's a yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Six of Pentacles in the world here. It, it, the answer is yes. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to tell you guys. It can be many different things, but uh, their next actions does feel like communicating something to you, maybe that they've been building up. Um, you're you're gonna get. You're gonna receive something that you're really gonna feel an appreciation for. The Six of Pentacles is giving, really giving energy. Um, 
So yeah, I, I suppose you have something to look forward to that maybe this person was like hiding a present or hiding hiding a pretty big fun secret from, from you, but they're gonna communicate this to you, okay? So they'd be giving you really good news and like, hey, you did all this for me and, and, and I got great news for you. This is what it's really done for me and, and I have proof of it or something like that. You know what I mean? It is a surprise though. Just letting you know it is a surprise. So that's what I have for you. You guys are the last pile. I hope that you appreciated that. If you want to like the video, feel free to do so. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. I will get back to you all. <laughs> if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so by clicking Calendly. Um, picking a time and a date where you would like to schedule a private reading with me. Questions are only $10 each. And I will get back to you guys in email as soon as possible when you do so okay so thank you guys for tuning in i appreciate you all very much and i hope that you have a beautiful day okay goodbye and thank you so much for watching my videos